Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you can have reason for the Wardling? No, I'm. Uh... I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister. Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plot is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. She seems like the type to hold a grudge. You killed our brother! I've killed many brothers. Sisters, too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. You won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. Oh, doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. <sighs> Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say. They do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. 
The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. The Glenmores came to us. We never asked for their help. Oh? Perhaps I need to have a word with Lord Glenmore. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay! Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! Talia, don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. <sighs> the poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Kill me! Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a holdfast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. You're insane. At least I'm not you. And one more thing. No! <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Oh, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies.
Strafe. Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. By the gods, I miss the Starks. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous that father called him Quiver. And now to die. Like this. Tortured. Mutilated. I wish there was something I could say to make this easier. Is that meant to console me? Ramsay came here because of you. If we hadn't been your allies... Elena. I'm sorry. Get you someplace, Bob. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. But he was yelling at you. And it's not the first time you've gotten yourself into trouble lately. 
Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. Sarah, you can't mean this. I have too few friends in King's Landing as it is. I'm sorry. I really am. But I just can't anymore. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family. Of course it was worth it. They're my family. And they're very lucky to have you. I'd better go before she sees me. She already Mira Forrester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. Is that your way of saying thank you? It's the best you're going to get. Oh, we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Meereen, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. 
which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? We never agreed to this! Asha, please. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled, but I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so, but let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. Eska, I'm... Don't fucking say it! It seemed like the best defense we had. The scum had it coming. Now he's dead. And we still need soldiers. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Now, well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. <laughs>